Akuna Matata, my friend. So great to see you. Well, you know, I can talk to you, but I imagine that I can see you. Let me know in the comment box below how are you doing. I really want to know. So in this video today, I have my Atomos Ninja, and I was looking for solution to have a bigger SSD card. Right. I mean, when I meant bigger, it's in terms of the memory. Right now, I have this option. It's compact. I like it because it's compact, right? But the problem with this Atomos Ninja SSD card is that it's expensive. It's just 500 gigabyte. It's over two, 200 pounds. And if I insert it in, you see what I like about it. It's compact. It's like, you know, does not come out. It's compact. It's really nice. And the other option when you buy Atomos Ninja 5 is that they send you this cage. And with this cage, you can insert whatever SSD card that you want in so that you can have a bigger memory for cheap. But the problem with this thing is that when you put it in there, you lose the compactness, just make it leak really bigger. But I like it compact. So then what I have done, I was looking option. So I went to Amazon and tried, just I typed this SSD alternative for Ninja 5. And bam, I came across this Andy Cine option. It is Andy Cine lunchbox SSD magnesium alloy case for Ninja 5 with MSATA to SATA adapter. And as soon that I saw it, I said, my goodness, that is the thing that I'm looking for. So what I have done is that I get in contact with Andy Sin. I said, you know, I saw, you know, this adapter that you're selling for Ninja 5. If you have one, if you're happy, you, you send it to me because I'm looking for it. I want to use that because I'm looking for option that is really compact, that I can have a bigger memory and with my Atomos Ninja. I love the Atomos Ninja because it's allowed me when I'm doing video tutorial and all those things, I can show you exactly, I can record my screen so that you can see the setting, how I'm changing the setting, what is the setting, and so that it's kind of clear we, we're looking at the same thing. That's what I love the Atomos Ninja. And having a bigger memory is really important um, as well. So now I have the tool for me to have a compact SSD card for my Atomos Ninja. I'm going to try to put them together. And after putting them together, and I'm going to put, you know, S the SATA, M SATA in of one gigabyte. And then after that, I'm going to try to see if it's work or not. So then I will share with you guys, you know, the option is a great option. It's a great saving. Just bear with me. So I'm going to start assembling the thing. Hey, before I assemble, you know, today is my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited and give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. And I appreciate that. So let me assemble the I mean the Andy Cine Lunchbox MSATA. Okay, so that. There's a cage. Case. One side of the case. So that's, I mean, basically that's the case. Cage. I think you have it. Yeah, you have it this way. So if you, I mean, basically, if you have it this way, you can see how compact is it compared to. Really compared to that, you see how small and compact it is. So we're gonna come back to this one. Yeah. So what I have. I have the screw, so basically that is the adapter, and these are the sil silicone for heat dissipation. You see, that's the Samsung 
portable SSD, yeah, one terabyte. So the water inside this one, that's what I want to remove and put it in the thing to make it compact. So let me open this one thing. So that's it, that's the SSD card, which got, I don't know how, do we need to remove this one? So yeah, that's the SSD card. Right. So let's look at the options that we have. So. Uh, great so that's the this one is the SD card SATA sorry that's the SATA that adapter that come with the Andy Cine so what do we what do we need to do now we need to insert this one here yeah, like this the second one okay that is screwed solidly so now the next thing that we need to do we need to install the silicon yeah one why not just I think why not just put the silicon that come with the thing together. All right. Yeah, make make it easy. Okay, that side is done. And then now what are we gonna do? We need to put that in here. That's how uh, this way so yeah I'm gonna put it this way and you see so we put it this way so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the silicon and put it in here so but I need to so now I'm gonna try to cover this the how I'm putting that in the right direction yeah Okay, that is no. So that is done. Yeah, done. And the cine, if I if I compare them, if I compare the cine with the Atomos Ninja, can you see how how small is that? How compact? How compactness is this? Can you see? Yeah. Right, or you can see it this way when you compare the, those two. Can you see the difference? So that's the thing. So now, <laughs> in French, we say l'air de vérité. In English translate, time of truth. So we're gonna try to insert it here. So that's how you're gonna insert it. Wow. 
tiny it is. Wow. Can you see? How beautiful tiny is red, beautiful tiny in the let me so you can see how you can compare it this way. So if you compare it with the Atomos Ninja, Atomos Ninja taking whole space. This one is just a compact small. Uh, uh, looking great, looking great. Wow, you can see how beautiful it is. So, the big question now is it is working or not? Battery in and I turn it on. It's coming on, coming on. Let's go to media. Oh, whoa, whoa. hey, hey, yep, one terabyte. Oh, that is so sweet, so exciting. You can see, say one terabyte. You can see here, my friend, it's a one terabyte. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I like it. Wow, I like it. Yeah. I really like it. It's a small, it's small, it's really compact. And, you know, compare to this massive gigantic gigantic thing this one is just fitted oh yeah yeah wonderful okay let's format the card i'm gonna try to format it format drive samsung portable ssd card so now the big questions is let's try to record something to make sure okay so yeah guys in meantime yeah i um leave the what well, you know where where to buy this adapter down there in the comment box below so for you guys to also buy it i think it's wonderful so i'm gonna try i'm gonna try it now yeah turn it on okay guys so now i so connected so it gives me option to to record this option button that you give me to record let me just so if i press here so you see it's recording here so nicely it's recording Yeah, you can see it's recording nicely. So I'm gonna let it record for a few seconds. And I'm gonna stop and play it back. Okay, so let me stop and I'm gonna play it back. I stop. Go to playback. Let's see if it's gonna play it back. Wonderful. Mwah. Perfect, perfect, perfecto. So it's working fine. So yeah, guys. I hope you really find this video very useful. So let me tell you. The, uh, yeah, the one thing that I did not. Do you know how much this cost? Is twenty nine pounds. For this undersine, uh, it is yes, it is yeah, it's cheap, and you get if you get the undersine twenty nine pound, and if you get one gigabyte of SSD card, you can find cheap even fifty pound. So for about seventy to eighty pound, you have one gigabyte compact SSD card for your Atomos Ninja. It is just no brainer. So thank you very much, and I also want to say thank you to Andesine to 
basically, you know, send me um, this one. I think they have no say on the video and they're not gonna see the video before I post it. So you're gonna see it before even they see it. So I'm honest and I was looking for an option like this and I find it and I now like it, I'm gonna use it. So thank you very much and the link in the description below, if you wanna purchase, you go get yourself one or two. I think I'm gonna get two more. Yeah, so then I'm gonna transform this one into that compact thing and yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I will see you next time, yeah, my friend. Excellent. Bye for now. Ciao.